Hello everyone! In today's video I'll be showing you how to make three different type of marble trays. So I'll be showing you how to make this marble and gold tray, this marble and acrylic beautiful tray, and lastly this bigger size marble display tray. If you'd like to know how to make this, please keep watching. And I'll be doing this from the order of easiest to hardest. So the first tray I'm going to show you is the acrylic one because it is super easy. So what you're gonna need is this tray. I actually took this from a Ferrero Rocher uh, packaging. So I've had this laying around and some marble contact tape. So as you can see, this is a little bit scratched up. I've literally had this laying around forever. I was using this in my office to put some papers in. But I thought this would be really easy to make look bougie really simply. So yeah, so I just needed this and the marble contact paper. So all you're literally going to do is just take marble contact paper and you're just gonna put that right in the middle. So again, if it's all scratched up and broken, even on the bottom, it doesn't even matter because the marble contact will cover everything up. So it is a little tricky to put it on. And after I put it on, I just cut the edges and there you go, it's a perfect fit. Here is it kind of with some stuff in it and here is it with a little bit more beautiful items to make it look really classy. This actually turned out to be one of my favorite ones out of all this surprisingly, cause it's just actually really functional. So if you've seen other videos of mine before, you might've remembered that I had these trays I made last year and I used this to store remote. So I was trying to think what I could do with this acrylic tray. So I ended up deciding to actually make this my new remote holder because I've been using the other one but for about a year. So it was a time for a change and I absolutely love, love, love how this looks. I think it looks so beautiful and it's so clean and chic. So for tray number two, I'll be showing you how to make a bigger marble display tray. So what you're gonna need is a canvas, like a painting canvas, some marble contact paper, and some handles if you would like. I had these laying around for my mirror tray video I made last year, so I finally get to utilize that again. If you wanna see that video, I'll link it down below. But all you wanna do for this one is take the marble contact and put it over the entire canvas frame. So it's pretty easy. I had this canvas laying around. I actually was displaying some of my jewelry on it. So there's some holes in it. So I didn't want to use it for painting, but I didn't want to throw it away. So this ended up being perfect for that. Once the marble is on, I'm just gluing the handles to the side and ta-da, there you go. That is the whole display. Like that was so stinking easy to do. This tray is beautiful, but it's not as functional. So don't try to carry things in this just for display and having as decor is really pretty. So here it is with a few more items to kind of get that feel of what it would look like. And I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna do with this, but I decided to maybe put it onto my stand in my living room. You can see here that I, you know, it's kind of getting cluttered and it's not really pretty. I decided to change that up and put that there. So I have one with a picture and I have one with a Wi-Fi password. I can't decide which one I like better. Comment below which one you think would be better to keep on display. And the last one, tray number three, is gonna be the marble contact and the gold. So for this one, you need some poster board, some wooden dowels, some plastic straws, some marble contact paper, and some gold spray paint. So for this one, I made this one before using the acrylic tray. So what I did is cut out the size that I want for a tray. And I really like the size of this acrylic Ferrero Rocher uh, tray. So I decided to cut and trace that, but you can use whatever size you want. And then you just cut it out. I actually ended up making two for this because I wanted this to be a little bit thicker. So I definitely recommend making two sizes of that. I took a hole puncher, a single hole puncher to make some holes. If you don't have a hole puncher, you can just poke through a pencil, but I marked where I wanted holes to be to put the straws and the dowels. So I have four places I put the hole. So I just punched it with the hole puncher. You can see both of my poster boards have that so they can align really nicely. So the idea is going to be to create some feet for this tray with the straws so you can see that's what i'm hoping it's going to look like i know it's kind of hard to tell like this but it lines up really nicely and then i took the marble contact paper and put it on top of the poster board so you can see it looks pretty nice and then i repoked all the holes again with a pencil so i can put the paper straws in later on 
So you can see my four holes there. And then, so I had my plastic straws and my wooden dowel. So again, just trying to test out where I want these plastic straws to be. I'm kind of measuring, say I wanted a little bit of feet there. So I'm just gonna cut to my desired length so you can cut it wherever you want. Then I took all of that and spray painted it gold. After I let it dry for a bit, this is the size of the straw that I liked. So you can see it fits perfectly there. And again, I want feet, so I'm not gonna have it sitting like this, but this is just to get the top part done. These are the wooden dowels. So I'm just kind of playing around to see how it would fit. And after I saw what I liked, I took a hot glue gun, glued those together. And then there's probably a better way to do this, but I just decided to take my hot glue gun and glue the top of the straws. And I was just going to add the wooden dowels on top of there. So I did that for a bit until it all dried up. In the end, I do like how this turned out. If I was to do this again, or if you want this to be really stable, I definitely would maybe recommend making another straw for the corner to kind of hold that end up and stabilize that more. But it's totally up to you. You can have three of like the leggings and the peggings there, or two like I did. Like mine still turned out really, really beautiful, and I'm really happy with the result. But that's something if you want it to be more functional because this is definitely way more for just display items. And after holding that for a few minutes, it is able to stand by itself and that's what it looks like. And then I did it to the other side. I pushed the straws to my desired length of my feet that I wanted for all of them and measured to make sure they all matched. When I liked it, I just took a hot glue and glued the bottoms. And then here was the final result. So I really loved how this turned out and I love the little bottom there with the feet. It just made it a little bit more unique and a little bougie looking. This is definitely something I wouldn't recommend putting things to carry around in the house. This is definitely way more for display. So yeah, here's some items. And what I ended up doing with this one so if you saw a video of mine before, I had made over a table to this marble and gold table and I have this sitting by my front door. So I decided to put this tray there because it just really went with that decor and that theme really well. So I put it right there, just put some decorations on top and I think this looks absolutely beautiful sitting there. So which one was your favorite? Did you guys like the marble? and the gold or the marble and the acrylic or the bigger marble display. I would love to hear what you thought and which one you liked before. You can see all of these were super easy to make and it was super, super, super cheap to make as well, but it looks so pretty and so expensive. So I love making this. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, bye-bye.